a woman was caught in adultery, mm -hmm. the position of Jesus was very strange. He said, okay, now, you are accusing this lady of adultery. Okay, 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 no problem. Now, I want the person who has never sinned, never sinned, let him throw the first stone at him. The people started running mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. Because no one in this world is without sin. Mm -hmm. And there is not what you call small sin and big sin. <laughs> <laughs> Adultery <laughs> is a sin, it is condemnable. Mm -hmm. Homosexuality is a sin, it is condemnable. Bestiality is a sin, it's condemnable. So Jesus Christ had, let me just read to you some of his dispensations that he gave. Let us look at Matthew concerning, let us start with that of uh, the, 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 the divorce. Matthew chapter 5. chapter 5 verse 31 verse 31 to 32 he says it has been said anyone who divorces his wife must give her a certificate of divorce this is what Moses had given before mm -hmm. now listen to what Jesus says he said but I tell you that is Jesus is saying I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife except for marital unfaithfulness causes her to become an adulteress and anyone who marries the divorced woman commits adultery. So basically, just as you said earlier, marriage is supposed to be a lifelong affair. And any man, for whatever reason, decides to divorce a wife, or sometimes it says a woman divorcing, you are condemning your partner to perpetual sin. That is the first. The second point I want to make is, excuse me, is we can find in uh, Matthew chapter 19, 10 to 12. In this one, uh, uh, we are combining both Jesus is looking at some people that have been born with deformities. Castrated people. Some are born eunuchs. Others have been castrated. And others have been made so by deviant men. And Jesus is saying that I am not, uh, uh, it was soon after with his disciples, they had been saying, uh, uh, if it is so difficult for, for someone to remarry, then uh, it's better for me to not to marry. <laughs> you know, uh, a eunuch cannot get married. Now, Jesus says, well, uh, there are three types. There is someone that God made him like this. And I'm not suggesting that all eunuchs are homosexuals, but they will have problem mm -hmm. to have that marital relationship that, that the Reverend has been talking about. And then there is another group, for example, men that have been put in charge of women in royal palaces, they have to be castrated in their traditional communities. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you say with such people? I'm not saying that they are homosexuals as well, but they cannot produce. Mm -hmm. So, Jesus is being sympathetic to those two. And yet, at the same time, he's saying yet there's another class. There's a class that could be made by people, that is, by bad men against young people. Mm -hmm. And also, there's another class that can be, those can become celibates. Those that want to become pure just because they want to learn the scriptures. So, yes, you cannot become a, 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 a normal, natural man, but it doesn't mean you must be indulged 
in other things as the same-sex marriage that we are talking about. My final point I wish to make, uh, moderator, is to read a passage from, first, from Romans. Romans is in the New Testament, is in the epistle. And it is a reading made by one of the foremost writers called uh, Paul. Paul analyzed the situation like this. Homosexuality is nothing new. It has been strong in the Greek period, that is in the 5th century BC right up to the 4th century BC. During the Roman period, the Romans were hard against it and they were suppressing it, so it was not so common. And Jesus was in that, leave it in that transition period, similarly with Paul. Now, however, Paul says people that have this tendency are opposing God. They are ungodly. And so he has given some readings that I would want to finish my talk with, and I want us all to listen to it. It's Romans chapter 1 verse 24. Perhaps I start from verse 18. The wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all the godlessness and wickedness of men who supplies the truth for their wickedness. That is, who suppress the truth for their wickedness. As doctor has said, people are making all sorts of studies, trying to be clever to justify living in sin. And this is what Paul is saying. Wickedness of men who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Since what may be known about God is plain to them because God has made it plain to them. Verse 24. Therefore, God gave them over in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity for the degrading of their bodies with one another. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshipped and served created things rather than the creator. Verse 26. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed indecent acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their perversion. Furthermore, since they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, he gave them over to a depraved mind. So I am going to end there, Reverend. Yeah. Basically, the church is saying that we have what the Old Testament says, and that is harsh. <laughs> we have a Jesus dispensation, which is mild. Yes. But yet, we have the good news mm -hmm. that is clear that if you want to remain in sin, God simply gives you up. And when God gives you up, nothing can remedy you. <laughs> thank you. Now, thank you very much. You've heard the viewers. You've heard what uh, we have said about it. The long and short of it is that we here are quoting the Bible. Doctor has quoted from medical, the medical point of view and from science. He has also quoted from the Bible. The Bible cannot be telling lies. So the long and short of it is that it is not God's law. God does not accept it. And I want to remind you that our president does not accept it. This country does not accept it. So who are you and me? Who are you and I to go against what God says or to go against what the government says? Well, you know what the government says. If you want to try it, try it. 
But I would advise you 